We don't keep fish, we keep the water that keeps the fish, so we need to maintain that high water quality level. You can help to do that with good quality filtration. Hi everyone, welcome to an exciting new video all about the new Biomaster 2 from Awaze. Before we go into the unboxing, just a little bit of history for you. I'll put this down, it's quite heavy. The Awaze Biomaster range of external canister filters were originally released in 2017, I believe. In 2018, I think I bought my first one, a, a Biomaster 600 Thermo. It was at the time my YouTube channel was growing quite considerably and I approached Awaze. I was so impressed with the filters. I wondered if they wanted to sponsor my channel. And that's how the whole relationship started actually. And now I use their aquariums almost exclusively and I use their filtration exclusively as well. So I'm very grateful that they've given me the first Biomaster 2 that's actually in the UK. Coincidentally, I reviewed the original 850 filter when it was first released. And so it's really cool to get the, the brand new 850 as well. The Biomaster range, they kind of changed the game really with the external filter market. They not only come with the quick release pre-filter with a range of different sponges ranging from now the very coarse sponge all the way to the really fine sponge from 10 PPI, which is the coarse course is sponge, which is actually supplied with the 850 and the 600 Biomasters. They also have the option of the Thermo, which has the inbuilt heater, which takes obviously the heater outside of the aquarium. And uh, for an aquascaper, that's really great. You don't want to be distracting yourself with ugly equipment in the, in the tank. So those two things in my mind, the built-in heater and the pre-filter really were a game changer. I was a already a very reputable brand with the pond industry and then breaking into the indoor aquarium market. Now they've listened to the feedback and as with any decent company, they operate with a philosophy of continual improvement. I think it was Mark Twain that said, continual improvement is better than delay perfection. So it's definitely the philosophy here. So there are quite a new number of features, although the actual structure, the physical structure of the, of the filter is almost identical. The footprint, the external case is, is the same and it does actually have the same motor, although they have made significant changes to the whole kind of efficiency. So the actual internals of the filter itself have been redesigned to improve overall circulation and flow. The Inlet tube, which comes as part of the pre-filter, has been completely redesigned. It has larger holes and it comes with a, it's a much nicer kind of plastic, a special molded plastic. That improves the flow rate as well. And they have a new curved end cover for the, the motor and that allows for the excess gases to be very quietly removed. Okay, so the box itself is a, is a new design versus the old Oase brands. The, the actual, they've changed their logo and the whole kind of design is more minimalist and, and more modern, I would suggest. The box does actually have some really interesting information, very useful information. It does have a four year guarantee and it tells you what the maximum rating in terms of aquarium size and it is suitable for fresh water and salt water or marine. So that's really interesting if you did want to try your hand at using it for a salt water tank. Other information on the back, it does have a quite a comprehensive list of things here. So let's just go straight to the 850, which we're doing today. So the maximum flow rate is 1500 liters per hour, 16 millimeter internal diameter. Uh, it has a total uh, length of four meters of hose. The pre-filter capacity is 0.6 litres. The overall canister capacity is eight litres. And then this is very interesting. So it tells you the maximum power consumption, which is 32 watts. But because of the increased efficiency regarding the redesigning to make the flow more efficient, it will have an average consumption of 22 watts. So that's almost like 30% reduction in, in power consumption. And the, the 850 Thermo does come supplied with the 400 watt heater. And then it gives you the dimensions of the, the filter there. Diagrams of how the filter operates. And then you've got the instructions for the pre-filter, for priming, the heater. And then there's a diagram of the, the new, newly designed 
filter inlets and spray bar. So let's get it open, shall we? Another great feature of the Biomaster is this carrying handle also makes it very easy to remove from the packaging. Uh, this has been opened already and the uh, Germans have very generously fitted uh, UK plugs on for me. And like I say, this is the first ever Biomaster 2 in the country. I'll get confirmation from Awaze when it's going to be available for sale in the UK. So let's use that removing handle there to take it out. This is the plug for the heater. I always find it very useful just to leave that label on just so it's very easy to recognize when you're unplugging it. Whenever you're doing filter maintenance, it's always a good idea to unplug your heater just in case it runs dry and it can potentially damage things. If you did want to remove the thermo version that obviously comes with a the heater, there is a non-thermo version and you can actually retrofit a heater if you wish. So that's something to consider. And if you wanted to remove the, the heater from this, you can do, and then there's a separate uh, plug to block off that hole there. This is the power supply to the actual filter head here. And another uh, interesting feature of the Oase products is that the, anything that's designed to be touched by your hand is colored in blue. Everything else is the Oase grey, so that's really interesting. So we have the priming button here for self-priming. Obviously this is the heater, you can set your temperature. I always set mine to around 24 Celsius, which is 74 Fahrenheit. Then we have our hose connectors here and it is labelled in and out. It looks exactly the same as the original Biomaster. It's the same kind of casting, but as I said, the internals have been redesigned quite considerably. You can see the new logo here, and then these are the locking functions here. So if we wanted to remove the pre-filter, we simply, we have to unlock, we have to unlock this first, which actually stops the water flow to make sure it doesn't leak. And then we unlock that, and then we can remove our pre-filter. Let's have a quick look inside here. This should have the 10 PPI foam, which is a new feature for the 850 and the 600 uh, Biomasters. So this is a very coarse sponge. And what this does, it optimizes flow and reduces the need for cleaning the pre-filter so frequently. I don't have much experience of this coarse uh, sponge yet, but I'm wondering how much, if any extra uh, debris it will let through into the internals of the filter. So I will be using this in the long term and I will report back. I actually don't mind using a finer sponge and cleaning it more frequently, but for those that aren't so diligent maybe or don't have the time, then maybe this is a, another option. You take your pick with the, with the sponges. You have all the way from 60 PPI, which is a very fine, all the way to the 10 ppi and there's a, a couple in between as well the pre-filter is is the game changer for me i've literally left it one or two years before having to clean the inside of the biomaster because the pre-filter traps all of that dirt it's actually very rewarding cleaning this every week or so cleaning all that you know that gunk out and, and you know realizing that that gunk is now removed from the aquarium system and it isn't going to add to any harmful potential waste organics etc. So that's the pre-filter, super simple and then just to, to fit it we do have a keyway there just make sure that lines up with your key there so it's in the 12 o'clock position and then we can lock that off and then we can lock that again there and that's ready to, to go. Let's just have a quick look under the hood shall we so we'll, let's take off the pre-filter again put that to one side and then you can actually take this off completely. I actually maintain these quite frequently as well with a hose brush. You can actually bypass the locking mechanism there like so and then you can put a hose brush all the way through to clean there frequently to maintain good flow rate and make sure you put it back like that before you refit it again. The blues are designed to be touched so we can actually remove that cover there. So we've got four locking um, tabs so let's pull the handle up there that also acts as a locking mechanism to prevent these from being released so we need to put that upright and then we can simply remove our head like so 
And then you may remember me talking about the new curved head cover here. So this, is a, this has been redesigned and this allows any buildup of gases to naturally escape very quietly through the motor and then they get dispelled very, very quietly rather than that uh, burping that some people uh, experience. So there's the heater, just be careful not to knock that when you're putting it down. So we'll put that down carefully. You can obviously remove this beforehand if you wish. It does have, the 850 does have, I think, six or seven baskets. So the top is a kind of finer sponge and then we've got a coarser sponge, coarse sponge. A lot of people tend to want to replace the, the internal filter media. I actually really like sponges. Uh, they, they last a lifetime. Uh, they, they work very well. They're actually a really good home for bacteria. And in my experience, if you have a healthy planted aquarium, the plants actually do uh, much of the biofiltration anyway. So you don't necessarily need like the, you know, the super fancy biological media. And we do have the, um, the, the plastic uh, media as well. I forget the name, I'll put a, a name on the screen for you. And then there's another uh, basket of that in the bottom there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, seven baskets altogether. Now exclusive for you guys, they are going to be releasing their, uh, another range of media that you can fit into your Biomasters. So because of the pre-filter, this very rarely needs cleaning. And this obviously applies to all the different Biomaster models, the 250, the 350, the 600 and the 850. So let's just put it all back again, shall we? Nice and easy. It's really great to see a while as they have listened to the feedback and made like, these, uh, these marginal improvements, for, especially for efficiency. And this filter has been built from the ground up. They're not using OEM products from China. A great brand, German, of course, German engineering. Filtration isn't something to be underestimated it's the almost like the lifeblood of your aquarium you know they do say we don't keep fish we keep the water that keeps the fish so we need to maintain that high water quality level to make sure we're keeping the fish that we are responsible for you know we have a responsibility to ensure their welfare and you can help to do that with good quality filtration which is definitely what we have here Okay, let's take a look at all the pipe work. This comes in a separate box and look at that. It's official. This is the Biomaster 2. Okay, let's open this. Oh, exciting. So first thing I notice is the, the plug for the heater. So if you did want to run the Biomaster Thermo without the heater, take out the heater and you can plug it. We have the four meters of hose. This is a 16 millimeter internal diameter. It's the smoky gray and aquascapers tend to replace this with a clear hose and use in these glass lily pipes. So we have our curved inlets and outlets. So it's a modular again, like before. You can extend, I believe, the spray bar and the inlet. So the inlet ensures that you don't suck up any substrate. And I'm not using the instructions. It's quite common sense, I think. That slides backwards and forwards, so you can extend the length quite considerably. Very cool. Oh, the rubber feet. These are a special design of rubber to minimise any vibrations and noise from the filter when it's inside your cabinet. So there's four of those, of course, one for each corner. This looks like it's going to be for the spray bar. So this is a spray bar here. This is a spray bar here. These go together like so, it seems. I don't tend to use spray bars. I tend to use other lily pipes or a direct kind of nozzle. I, I find the, I prefer to have more velocity. So there's the spray bar there. And we have an end cap here. So that blocks off the end there. Must go in, there we go, that goes in there. I'm not sure what this does here. There's your spray bar fitted outlet hose of course will simply fit on the end there and that is your spray bar configuration. I would just personally run it like that and have loads of flow coming out of there 
but if you wanted to use a spray bar, you do have the option there and you can have it at different lengths, of course. So that would be how I would use it. This curved, I would think, is actually improves the actual flow rate versus the the other kind of the older Oase version was almost sort of angular, like a, almost like right angles, uh, which probably isn't as good for flow rate. And then we have our suction caps and clips, etc., to just attach all of the pipe work as appropriate to your aquarium glass or, or wherever it needs attaching. The instructions are here. In all different languages, we've got the guarantee here. You can extend the guarantee to have five years, it seems, as well. And then there's a guarantee there. And then there's all the instructions for the heating. And then there's uh, the quality certificate from Germany there. So that's all of the equipment, all of the Biomaster bits and bobs. Okay, time to fit our brand new Biomaster 2 onto my Highline 400. I had two Biomaster 850s running previously, taken the oldest one off, gonna give that to a worthy cause and gonna fit this one. So the, the connector that connects the hoses to the filter is exactly the same, so that makes the process much easier. The locking mechanism, of course, stops the water from leaking. So it should be a fairly straightforward process. So we have the unique kind of high line cabinet and the scaper line uh, cabinet feature of the sliding filter drawer here. So slide that out there, lift our filter onto the drawer. Both filters and heaters on the same extension lead. So all I have to do is switch the one extension lead off and it turns all the filtration and heating off in one go. Move this locking valve here. Yeah, you should be able to hear that priming already. So the water from the aquarium is now siphoning into the filter and we'll probably get some air. No, maybe we need to prime it a touch. There we go. Now that's going to be taking around eight litres of aquarium water into the filter. And I have already swapped the pipe work over from the old style to the new style. So I set the temperature to 24 on the heater. Make sure it's on 24 on the other one. Yeah, that's fine. So now just by plugging this extension lead in here, both filters should come on and hopefully uh, it will work fine. Let's have a go. There's obviously some air still in the filter, that should clear relatively quickly. Rock the filter to help release any trapped air. And there we have it. So the, this Biomaster is attached to the lily pipe, that's why we're getting the, uh, the surface agitation there, because the water levels drop down a touch. You can see the tiny uh, air bubbles around the aquarium, that should clear up relatively quickly, hopefully. But yeah, they're running very quietly. That's a good sign. There's no leaking. Yeah, I'm impressed. The, the flow is very strong. You can see the, the way the bubbles are moving all around the aquarium. That's a good sign. So now we'll top up uh, with uh, fresh water, dechlorinate it with my Wazi dechlorinator. And that is the filter fitted. So there we have our overview of the new Biomaster 2 external canister filter from Awaze. If you are in the market for a new external filter, do consider the Biomaster 2 when it's released. If you have the old Biomaster, absolutely nothing wrong with them. It's just great to see Awaze listening to feedback and operating that philosophy of continual improvement with their products. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to seeing you on the next one, which will be choosing the plants for my Dutch Aquascape in my Awaze Scoper Line 60. Take care, see you on the next one. Cheerio.